check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. sound right boy
Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Sound right, boy.
at San Jose State University. We discover who we want to be. For ourselves, for our families, for our communities. Different and unexpected. Begin here. At the heart of a transforming valley in a city that is tough and beautiful. We are Spartans. Spartan fans, let's go, baby. San Jose State 6 and 0, oh, and the Spartans are playing for the Mountain West Conference Championship tomorrow against Boise State, first time in program history. Welcome into our virtual space for this pep rally. I know it's a first time for us, but we're certainly happy that you could join us. We would love to have you in person, but this year is just a little bit different, so we're doing things a little bit differently as well. We hope you are healthy and safe this holiday season. It's a very exciting time for San Jose State Athletics. It's also a very exciting time for a lot of students on campus as well. The Spartans playing in the championship game, but so many graduates will be virtually graduating in commencement this week. And I want to be the first to congratulate them on their journey in an odd year, to say the least, for them to finish off their time at San Jose State. So congratulations to the graduates. And now there are a couple opportunities for fans in this virtual pep rally to, to let off some of their excitement and, and be heard. One of those opportunities is going to be in a moment. So get ready, get, get yourself prepared to yell, scream, get in front of the camera and get going. And then later on as well, we'll get that opportunity. But right now, let it all out. Let it loose. Let's go. a little bit later on so if you didn't if you didn't get in on that one just wait we've got a little bit something later on as well uh hey we got a great program we have the director of athletics marie to will join us the president of san jose state university dr mary papazian she'll join us later on as well of course we'll hear from san jose state head coach brent brennan and a couple of players as they prepare for the game down in las vegas there are a couple of things to get excited for outside of the game Everything you need to know about the game, though, can be found on the Game Day Central, which is on San Jose State Athletics website, uh, sjsuspartans.com. There you see you can get the, the time, the location, live stats, the radio feed, the TV feed, all of that's there. If there was a little bit of uh, uh, confusion, there was a change to the kickoff time for this football game. It was scheduled for 1.15 on Fox. Now it's at 1.30, so just a... a a little change, but it can make a big difference in 15 minutes. Also, if you'd like to get involved on our social media channels, there is an opportunity to do that. You can take a picture of yourself watching this virtual pep rally and participating in the virtual pep rally. And if you tweet it at SJSU Athletics and at SJSU with the tag MW Championship Ready, uh, we can pick a winner later on and you'll be announced 
uh, at the end of the program as well. So good opportunity. So tweet your picture of you watching this virtual pep rally at SJSU Athletics or at SJSU, and maybe we'll have you on a little bit later as well. There's also a great opportunity from the Spartan Bookstore that is valid only this week for apparel, gear, great ideas for the holiday season. If you have a Spartan fan that you're thinking of and want to send them a gift, and why not with the Spartans being in the championship game, upcoming and then you could also get on board for 2021 we know you couldn't be there in person this year we'd love to see you next year with season ticket deposits and support of scholarships uh, to the spartan athletics fund they're now available on sjsuspartans.com and uh, a reminder that the game is tomorrow a 1 30 kickoff on fox and uh, they'll have the national coverage there our uh, pregame show coverage on a special flagship station this week on the Spartan Radio Network will be a a AM 6 a 860 uh, KTRB and the tune-in app. That'll start at 1 o'clock with uh, the game beginning at 1.30. So let's get into this thing. I, I know it's not a pep rally without the band, the marching band at San Jose State and the cheer team at San Jose State. So let's hear from them. All right, with that, we now send it over to the president of San Jose State University. Always great to, to have Dr. Mary Papazian supporting Spartan Athletics. Dr. Papazian, take your play. Thank you, Justin, for the introduction and uh, welcome everyone. It's great to have all of you in attendance, um, all of you supporters of Spartan football and all who are part of the Spartan family, your loyalty and your support have been a big part of our current and future success. I especially want to recognize our amazing fall graduates uh, who are participating in their recognition ceremonies today for the fall graduation. This is a big day for them and we're delighted that you've joined us here for the big pep rally. What we see in this team reflects who you are as well people with dedication, commitment, aspiration, grittiness. You found a way despite all the challenges this year to complete your degrees and we're so proud of you. And I look forward for one to celebrating you in person when we're able to do so. Let me acknowledge Coach Brennan and um, his entire staff, but uh, Coach, uh, well-deserved Coach of the Year Award and we're looking forward to hearing you speak in just a little bit. Uh, our coach, our athletic director, Marie Tewitt, and the entire coaching staff are clearly building this program the right way. One of the things I said when we brought Coach Brennan in is um, take your time, but do it right. We knew that winning on the field of play would come and how right we were. Wins are important, but playing with integrity, with decency, honor, discipline, and joy. The joy is something that you really see in this team and we see in so many of our students. These displays on the field and in the locker room are even more important. And so we love our players at San Jose State. We love our students at San Jose State. And we want each of you to be the best students and the best student athletes that you could possibly be. The work we you do on the field is, is impressive. But I must tell you, we're even more proud of the work that you do beyond in the community. So thank you to all of you and to our wonderful coaching staff who are a huge part of that, of building our Beyond Football program and ensuring our connection, which is part of our core values as a university. So a huge congratulations to this historic and transformative Spartan football team, to Coach Brennan and his staff, and a final thank you to the entire staff 
who made this happen, both here today at the pep rally, but truly the heavy lifting that it took to have our nomadic warriors play on a field that will look like home when you see the Spartan symbol right in the center of the field and San Jose State proudly in the end zones. So let me wish you all well. We'll be watching it with joy tomorrow. And I'd love to introduce one of our wonderful alums, Councilman Raul Perales. He's a great friend of San Jose State, a loyal and proud Spartan alumnus who looks for every opportunity to recognize and shine a light on his alma mater. Please welcome Councilman Raul Perales. Well, thank you very much, President Papazian, and thank you to all of you for tuning in and celebrating this special occasion. Uh, as President Papazian said, my name is Raul Perales. I'm the council representative for District 3 in San Jose, and that encompasses the downtown core and all the surrounding neighborhoods, which includes SJSU, South Campus, and SEFQ Stadium. And as an SJSU alum, it's definitely been an exciting time to see our Spartans come this far and play such an outstanding season. I am proud to be a Spartan. With an impressive 6-0 season and being ranked 24th in the nation, I want to recognize all the hard work and determination that our Spartans have showcased throughout this season. The team has been so impressive to watch and have really made SJSU and the city proud. I want to give a special shout out to San Jose's own Cade Hall on being named Mountain West Defensive Player of the Year. And to another San Jose native, freshman Anthony Maduro, I used uh, to cruise the streets of San Jose with your father, and it's exciting to see how proud he is of you, and I'm just as bummed as he is to not be able to watch the championship live here at home tomorrow. I also want to take this time to congratulate Coach Brent Brennan on being recognized as the 2020 Werner Ladder American Football Coaches Association Region 5 Coach of the Year. What a great recognition and certainly well-deserved. I know that all of San Jose is looking forward to cheering on our Spartans tomorrow at their first Mountain West Championship. And among all this celebration, I wanna make sure to also recognize and congratulate all of our SJSU students who will be graduating today. Congratulations on your accomplishments and best wishes on your journey ahead. And lastly, I'd like to invite all of you to stop by San Jose City Hall anytime this evening as I am proud to have lit up our City Hall Tower and Rotunda in blue and gold to show our support for both our football team and in honor of the more than 4,000 students graduating today. Let's go, Spartan up. Well, you love that. Uh, thanks so much, Council Member Perales for uh, that dedication to San Jose State Athletics. And uh, nobody has been more dedicated to Spartan Athletics than our next guest. And this will be the first opportunity we get to see the team down in Las Vegas. We're gonna send it over to the Director of Athletics, Marie it. take it away. Spartan up. Are you ready? One, two, three. Spartan up. Spartan up. Spartan up. 
All right, let's go. So with that, uh, Marie mentioned a couple of players are going to join us as well. We're going to have Nick Starkle, the, the quarterback for San Jose State, and Trey Webb, who is a defensive back for the Spartans as well. Uh, we'll give them a second to shuffle in front of the camera here, but then we'll, uh, we'll talk to, to them as well uh, from Las Vegas. Do, do, are we ready, boys? Oh, I see a Joe Montana jersey coming onto the screen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How about that? Now, now, before we talk football, who has the bigger biceps, Coach Judici or Sammy Spartan? Oh, where's Sammy? Sammy, 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 Sammy Spartan got those guards on us. <laughs> I like Sammy. I mean, Coach Judici flexed on us, so I have to call him out, right? I'm going to start with with Nick. Uh, I mean, this this season, can can you can you put it? kind of into a context of what you guys have gone through this year and all the places you've been to, and now to have a chance to compete for the title, what that means. Yeah, I, I talked about it yesterday. Uh, everybody wants to say 2020 is a year of problems, but here and with this team, 2020 has been the year of solutions and finding so, those solutions any way we can. So I'm proud talk, of this team. Talk, talk about the mood. Cause I mean, you guys are obviously amped right now and you have been all season long. Maybe talk about just the group as a whole and how you guys have handled it. Man, this team has handled adversity like champs. You know, we just keep taking punches off the chin and just rolling with them. And we're fired up. I mean, we got practice later today, so I think we got a little juice going for that. So it's going to be great. Trey, how about you? I mean, we, we've been congratulating graduates, and, and you're on that list as well. So first of all, congratulations there. Um, what, what does it mean for you to see this program turn around? Because you've been here for a few seasons. You've seen the struggles that this team has had, and now they have an opportunity to compete for a title. Yeah, I'm just so proud of my guys. We stay resilient from going from humble, from going from leaving San Jose, going to Hawaii, been, being at this hotel for like two and a half weeks. We just stay resilient. We stay together. We stay the family. And you're going to see that uh, tomorrow. All right. Got to ask you a football question because the defense has been phenomenal this year for San Jose State. What to you has been so impressive about the defensive group? Just that everybody's bought in and uh, – we like we love playing for each other, and uh, it's just real fun out there. We just we we look we just having fun out there. All right, Coach Brennan, I'm going to bring you in here now. Um, this is this is a long time coming for somebody like you because you not only were an assistant coach a while back at, with the Spartans, but but you came to games when you were a kid. Uh, so what what does this opportunity and and this stage mean to you? Well, I think we. It's all about this team and, and these players and what they've done over the last, you know, eight months. You know, this thing started, we started climbing this mountain in March when they canceled spring practice and we sent everybody home. And so just what they've done, what they've worked through, how every obstacle, adversity that they've had to meet, no one has backed down. No one has stopped climbing. No one has complained or whatever, everybody just stayed together. And I think that's the beauty of the situation and the time that everyone is struggling. Everybody's going through a really hard time. It's been amazing to see this football team come together as a real family and be a real kind of beacon of light for, for the Bay Area and for San Jose State University. Well, and this, this is an opportunity for everyone in the room to respond, but it, it, it's tough because the Spartans usually interact with fans. They interact with donors and alumni, and you haven't had that opportunity this year. So now that you have the stage where you know people are watching, what do you say to them? Do you want to say a message or anything, or is it just a yell? I got some. Coach, Coach, I think I got some. Hey, Spartans, what is your profession? Oh. Yeah, I think we're ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Love it. And, and, hey, and maybe we can get a, an arm wrestling competition between Sammy and, and Coach Judici at some point, maybe. <laughs> All right, so our next guest, we, I didn't tell you this in the open, but we have a Hall of Famer on the call. And as good as that cheer was just a moment ago, I think our Hall of Famer, Crazy George, will have equally as impressive of a cheer he's a guy that you can hear even when he's on mute so crazy george if if you're out there come on in and lead us in a cheer this is crazy george can you hear me out there yes it's me and i'm gonna be leading you a cheer i've been cheering i've been cheering for san jose state for 50 years and this is one of the biggest games we're ever gonna play it's tomorrow 
this one starting off a cheer for the Spartans. I can't be with the Spartan fans, so I'm doing this cheer for you and for the team. They're the greatest team I've ever seen. Coach Bennett, you pulled us through. Here's a cheer for the Spartans. I'm going to hit my drum dice, then you sell Spartans. Here it goes. Spartans! 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 Stay with them. I love you. I love the spark. How about that? Yes, Crazy George. Uh, it's always good to have him. It was great having the team on. Guys, thanks so much. Uh, we appreciate it. I know you guys are super excited. Go get them tomorrow. All right, so before we uh, before we close things out, uh, thanks so much for everybody joining on today. Again, a reminder for tomorrow. It is a 1.30 kickoff on the Fox Cable Network, and uh, they will have the coverage nationwide against uh, the Boise State Broncos. Our pregame show on the Spartan Radio Network with a special flagship station this week will be on uh, 860 KTRB AM and tune in starting at 1 o'clock. Now, at the beginning of the program, we talked about the potential of having you interact on Twitter uh, with the Mountain West Championship ready hashtag photo contest. I think we have a winner now in that contest and uh, hopefully we can get them on screen, whoever that is, but uh, on our Twitter, bam, there it is. How about that? So there is our winner. Uh, thanks so much for her winning photo in the contest. I love all the Spartan swag. And if you need more Spartan swag, there's the opportunity from the bookstore this week. You can get all the Spartan content and clothing you need. It's great for the holiday season upcoming. Uh, be sure to check that out. And of course, stick with San Jose State Athletics for all the updates regarding this game and the future games, the bowl opportunities as well for San Jose State. But right now, tomorrow, uh, San Jose State will take on the Boise State Broncos. SJSUSpartans.com is your spot for game day central with everything you need, stats, uh, audio, any uh, roster information is all there as well. And once again, we appreciate you taking time with us this afternoon. And uh, we'll hope to see you at the next Spartan event sometime in the near future. It would be great to see you all. And again, congratulations to the graduates from a, a former graduate of San Jose State, myself, to all of you out there. Thanks so much for enduring this tough year. And congratulations on uh, that diploma coming your way. We really do uh, want to extend our congratulations to them. So that will wrap up our show. Check out the Spartans tomorrow. Cheer from home. We love it. And uh, let's go get a win against Boise State. How about that? Hey, moms. What's up, mom?
Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. 